Hey everybody, it's Ralphie with Ravex Motorsports here to talk about motocross helmets and snowmobiling. How to use them correctly using the correct system so you can stay warm, whether you're clicking off 300 miles a day on the trail or riding backcountry. Some of the goggle or helmet manufacturers out there will have you believe that there's a perfect combination of helmet and goggle. Well, that's not true. It may look great sitting on the shelf and have a really good fit, but once you put somebody's face in that helmet, the whole dynamic changes. And we're going to talk all about that today. For instance, we have the F2 Carbon. Oh boy, thank you. This helmet's great. comes with a built-in breath box. Personally, this breath box doesn't work for me. It works for some people. I fog up too much. It just doesn't seal up against my face and it hits me just wrong. That's where the correct combination of, of items is what works. This is neoprene here. has a nice little metal tab there so you can get a good seal on your nose. Um, really comfortable, moisture-wicking liner. Lots of ventilation. That's the key with this type of helmet is it helps remove a lot of that heat from your head. You've got to keep in mind you're wearing two and a half inches of styrofoam insulation on the top of your, on the top of your bean. All right, so showed you the breath box that comes in the F2 Carbon. That works out really good for some people. Like I said, me personally, I like to use the HJC Universal breath box. This here comes for the CLX-5. It's actually an old HJC helmet. We like the angle that this neoprene tab comes up. Gets you good coverage on your face right here, which can be a trouble spot for frostbite on the really cold weather. Has a nice foam seal on the inside, which helps seal up against your nose good. This is the one I use. I like to use it because... Like I said, the way the helmet sits on my head, everybody's head's a different distance from here to here, so that doesn't work for me because it, it runs right underneath my eyes and kind of bothers me. This one here, I can kind of put wherever I want. I wedge it down there, have it set on my nose real nice. These tabs come up between my cheek and the cheek pad. You don't put it behind the cheek pad in the helmet, you put it between your cheek and the cheek pad. This Velcro kind of grips a little bit and holds it in place. Works really good on those cold days. On the ride out, I'll wear it, I'll pull it out when I'm riding backcountry, stick it in my backpack or my pocket. And then I'm riding backcountry all day so I can breathe better. I don't have this in there. Better airflow. You want to go to go home when it's cold out or you're going to be clicking off a little bit faster uh, trail riding. I take it out of the pocket, wedge it back in, goggles back on, and we're good to go. Now, the other key part is the head sock. This is the Fly Igniter Balaclava. Love this head sock. Here you see it has the windstopper fabric all around the eye box, neoprene over your nose, and then windstopper around the whole bottom. It also has Coolmax on top of the head to help keep that moisture off of your head. Now some people wear it like this, with the nose piece over your nose, breathing through the fabric. Personally, I'm not a fan of that. I pull this just under my chin, get good coverage around here so that if there's any space between the helmet and the goggle, when the, go when the goggle's on the helmet, this windstopper fabric is what's exposed and showing. Good windstopper coverage there, and on the back. Tuck this in your jacket, you're going to be warm all the way back. Like I said, that cold riding day or if you're riding a lot of trails, the head sock is key with the breath box. Once I'm out in the backcountry, if it's a super cold day, I'll just run the head sock. And then if it's really, really warm, I won't run any head sock at all and just wear the motocross helmet. Works out great. So, obviously, the fly helmet and the triple nine goggles work out great as well. We also use triple nine goggles in an HJC helmet. This helmet works great too. Polymer shell, Snell approved, super comfortable lid. This is the CLX7. Obviously, the goggle fits really good in there when it's not on somebody's head. Once you put somebody's face in here, it may still seal up good like that if they don't have a, a super deep face. If their face is a little deeper than that, it may push the goggle away from the helmet a little bit. That's where the bath box is going to come in handy and the head sock to cover up those areas where skin may be exposed. Once again, you can make any helmet and any good snow goggle, any motocross helmet and any good snow goggle work. You just have to use the correct combination of breath box and head sock. Ralph with Ravex Motorsports. If you guys have any questions, feel free to give us a call, 207-773-7727, or hit us up on our website, ravexperformance.com.